So this question is a diagram question. Any question that provides some visual input, I'm gonna call a diagram question. We have a pie graph here and we have a table here. So the information says in a survey, 100 travel agents each ranked airlines A, B, and C in order of preference. Each of the 100 travel agents also rated the three airlines in five categories on a scale of one through 10 with 10 being the, the best rating. So the first uh, pie graph we have here, or pie chart we have here is the survey results. So this tells us the, the order of preference, right? A, then C, then B. Six of the 100 travel agents thought this was the order of preference of the airlines for themselves. Uh, 20 of the travel agents thought B was best, followed by C, followed by A. Um, the note here just tells us that you know, what the notation means. And then we have our average rating across five separate categories, convenience, friendliness, price, promptness, and reliability. So let's look at the question. The question says the sum of the five average ratings was calculated for each of the three airlines. What is that asking us to do? Well, technically we'd have to just add up everything for airline A, everything for airline B, everything for airline C. Um, the next sentence here says, the airline with the least sum was ranked first by what fraction of the travel agents? Okay, so which one of these airlines has the least sum? So what I'm gonna do is a comparison, right? You could just go straight to your calculator and add everything up, get a sum here, a sum there, and a sum here, and just figure out which is the least. But it seems like airline C, let me just erase over this so we can see it clearly. It seems like airline C has lower numbers across the board, right? Airline C is lowest in convenience. It is also, it's not lowest in friendliness, but it's, you know, it's not the highest either. It's much lower in price. It's much lower in promptness and it's much lower in reliability. I think we can pretty safely say that the 0.4 here that it's higher than the airline A does not compensate for how much lower the rest of these categories are. So therefore choice or airline C is the lowest ranking airline and airline C in terms of the distribution of rankings was selected first or ranked first by these two travel agents here, right? C then B then A. Also, these 20 travel agents here, C, then A, then B, nowhere else is airline C ranked first. So it was ranked first 22 out of the 100 travel agents. And we could reduce that, right, to 11 out of 50. How did I get that? I just divided it by two. I reduced that fraction. So 11 out of 50 is the correct answer here.